This is Richard Jacobs with the Finding Genius podcast, now part of the Finding Genius Foundation. I have Dr. Ronald B. Brown, PhD. Uh, we're going to talk about some topics related to, uh, to COVID. So, Ronald, thank you for coming. Thanks, Richard. Yeah, tell me um, a little bit about your background and, uh, you know, what was your interaction like with, uh, with COVID when it first hit and, and today? Well, I'm an American, but I live in Canada. I came to Canada in 1976 after the Vietnam War. And uh, I'm a professional musician in one of the local symphony orchestras here in Ontario, Southern Ontario. And although I have a degree in music, I've always had an interest in science. So when I began my music career, I decided to continue my science studies as a part-time student. And I eventually worked my way up to becoming a PhD. I hold a PhD in uh, organizational behavior, uh, industrial organizational behavior. I've always been interested in health. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in dietetics, and I'm currently a doctoral student in public health epidemiology at the University of Waterloo. That's my affiliation that I publish all my articles under at the moment. COVID-19 was the great disruptor of, of my career. It was disrupted everything. It disrupted my social life. It disrupted my work. It disrupted my academic work. It, you know, had an impact on my finances. So I pretty much dropped all of my other research directions at that time and decided to, to, to look at this particular issue. And it's not like I had, didn't have the extra time to do it. So I spent the whole year researching everything I could find about COVID-19, specifically the causes of the disease. Also, I was very much interested in researching the vaccines. Uh, During the course of the pandemic, last March, a year ago from March, it was first announced that we have to lock down until we find, you know, until we develop vaccine. And that's when it occurred to me that, oh, this would be a good time to focus the public's attention on how vaccines are are developed in real time and how the randomized trials are conducted in real time, and how the 